Welcome to On This Day, where we explore the impactful moments that occurred on July 15th throughout history. First, cast your mind back to July 15th, 2006, 17 years ago, when the founders of Twitter, Jack Dorsey, left, Biz Stone, Middle, and Evan Williams, right, launched a social media platform that would forever change the landscape of global communication. Born out of a desire for a short message communication service, Twitter's advent transformed global communication, ushered in an era of real-time news and information sharing, and created an impactful platform for social movements, political discourse, and cultural conversations that continue to shape our world today. Next, cast your mind back to July 15, 1838, 185 years ago, when the renowned philosopher and poet Ralph Waldo Emerson delivered what came to be known as the Divinity School Address at Harvard Divinity School. In his speech, Emerson boldly discounted biblical miracles and declared Jesus to be a great man, but not God, a perspective that caused a furor in the Christian community, reshaped the dialogue around religion and spirituality in America, and cemented Emerson's position as a pivotal figure in the transcendentalist movement. Next, we travel back to July 15, 1916, 107 years ago, when in Seattle, Washington, William Boeing, left, and George Conrad Westervelt, right, incorporated Pacific Aero Products, a company that would later be renamed Boeing. Their entrepreneurial venture, fueled by a fascination with aviation and a drive to push its boundaries, gave rise to one of the world's largest aerospace manufacturers and defense contractors fundamentally shaping global aviation, advancing technology, and playing a pivotal role in the evolution of air travel and space exploration. Next, we turn back the clock to July 15, 1979, 44 years ago, when U.S. President Jimmy Carter delivered a seminal address to the nation, now known as the Malays' speech. Addressing what he characterized as the crisis in the growing doubt about the meaning of our own lives and in the loss of a unity of purpose for our nation, Carter's speech, given amidst economic stagnation and an energy crisis, aimed to rally the American spirit but instead faced criticism and intensified a sense of national disillusionment, influencing both his presidency and the direction of American politics in the years that followed. Lastly, we rewind to July 15, 2003, 20 years ago, when the Mozilla Foundation was established by members of the tech community, including luminaries such as Mitchell Baker, left, and Brendan Eich, right. Inspired by a vision of an open and accessible internet, the birth of the Mozilla Foundation, responsible for open-source projects like the Firefox browser, not only revolutionized web browsing with a focus on privacy and customization, but it also reaffirmed the importance of internet health, shaping the way we think about software development, internet freedom, and online privacy. Thanks for joining us on this journey through history. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more daily historical adventures.